hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. What is going on, entertainment? So, time come tell with another recap. So, y'all, this recap's not gonna be too, too long. And also, y'all, I'm not recapping Bad versus Wild. Of course, this was a more co a comedic episode. So, like, not much more to say about it. it. Was a little bit of a key, you know. Sapphire was doing her big one or attempted to. So, it wasn't like a huge hoopla. So, I am not gonna be recapping it. But part three, y'all, of this auditions was one of the best. It was so wrong, but it was so funny. Shinsia needs to be a baddie. The fact that she wasn't casted after they filmed this audition, this is what this is what tells me that Zeus sometimes be missing a mark. Because she has an attitude. I did not know this, but she's funny. So it's like, I like her. You know what I'm saying? And she gives me the type that would have pop Natalie upside her head. So it's like, we might have needed her on this season. Like, we could have swapped her out for one of the returning baddies. We really could have. I'm just saying. Sapphire, you could have stayed at home. No shade. And we could have had Shazia there. Now, or, or Mariah. Even Scotty. All right. Amber, you guys, ended up getting a ticket. And poor Chanel TSO, you know she got the cell. Amber still beat the cell out of her. She didn't get a ticket. They took her off. Sometimes for these shows, it's like, you got to think, like, are you really going to get on this show? Do you have what it takes to be on this show? And Chanel, I feel like, should have known better to think that, oh, they're going to cast me. They're going to cast you because... Y'all know how um, Nally is. The moment she sees Chanel, she's like, oh, she's not a bad. She didn't have to say anything. She was just judged her on the look, and she was going to give her a ticket off of that. A lot of my girls for the vlog made the episode on oh my soul. This was one of the girls who was breakdancing and emphasizing. She beat, bop, 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 bop beat, beat, boot, cat, 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 foul. Okay? So they did end up making the episode. So shout out to them. They didn't get put on the cast, but you know, the fact that they made the episode, shout out to them. All right. This was uh two of the girls that started dancing to uh, uh to we outside. We outside. That was uh the two of the girls right there. Okay. That was the first time I kind of see somebody actually dance to get a ticket versus singing. Okay. And when did this become America's Got Talent? Y'all might as well have called this Baddies Got Talent. America's Got Baddies. Because them girls were singing, I'm not scared of lying, it's like it's in the They started singing uh, uh, all these type of songs, trying to get tickets. But it's good that they have talent versus just twerking. Because some of them would just shook their ass and expected to get a ticket. Okay? I even saw this girl last week on the auditions the way that was screaming on the top of her lungs. Shout out to Gigi. G <laughs> We got some vlogs coming soon, y'all. We got some vlogs coming soon. So, we get Smiley Jr., a.k.a. Frown. We gonna call her Frown. Hi, Frown. She looks like Bunny Buns from Not As TV. So, she had Natalie's signature on her tatas, and she said, she threw some shade at Smiley. She told uh, Janice, no, she told Bobby that uh, she has the real signature, and if Smiley want that smoke, she can get it. I said, not you trying to beef with Smiley. Hopefully, she don't tell your frown upside down, right? Now, she really did look like Buddy Buds. And to be honest, I'm surprised they didn't put, like, a thicker girl this season to kind of represent the BBLs. Uh, I know Roly coming back, but it's like, damn, can we get another representation? And to me, Biggie don't count. Biggie might be big, but she's not, like, a big, fat girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we needed, like, a BBW. To me, Biggie don't read BBW. She just read me, like overly thick. You know what I'm saying? Wet Wet comes on, does her thing, says how she was the only one to go viral. Huh. Big Lex says hi. Some other girls say hi. You weren't the only one that went viral. Maybe you're the only one that went viral your season, but not in general. Okay? 
So the girl next to her, as you guys know, on my la on on the after show, her name is Blush, and um, she basically was just like, "Oh, and that don't mean you a baddie. That don't mean a damn thing." Okay. So after she says this, the girl Buka Baka Boo, I'm talking about wet wet was knocking her loose. All you kept hearing was the feedback. You feedback, 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 feedback. Feedback, feedback. That's all you heard, okay? So I felt like, damn, girl, like, I felt a little bad. I, I ain't going to lie to you, Blush. Blush is a beautiful girl, okay? Make sure you guys go to my after show. I don't know when I'm put this video. It's probably going to be in the morning. Check my after show just to see her be, because she was hitting her head like a tambourine. I was like, God damn, just bam like a tambourine, Okay. Wet Wet Tatas came out Paris and London were exposed. And it wouldn't be Wet Wet without her titties being exposed and her wig being snatched. She did end up getting a ticket, though. It's clear in this audition, Natalie does not like Shinsia. Shinsia does not like Natalie. Natalie kept poking at Shinsia every time she could get. She was just like, oh, she says you're not a baddie. This girl right here, Shinsia, yeah, her. Or Shinsia would be like, Natalie, why you get a ticket for you keep giving the ticket for no reason. Natalie, you play. Like, you could tell she not too keen on this name. So I feel like Shazia should be put on the cast. Because I think Shazia would be the one to match Natalie's energy. Especially one time she snatched Natalie's ticket back from her. I said, ooh. She's a feisty girl. Okay? And I think she'll fit. We get to this blind girl. And this blind girl, you guys, clearly you can tell she's not faking being blind because of her eyes. She starts rapping. Next thing you know, this other girl battles her. And this other girl attacks her. Zeus, you guys are going hell in a basket. Like, really? Now, she was, she did get the 10K, but that girl who attacked her, you weak as hell. How you going to attack a disabled person? Like, and she wasn't even doing nothing or saying nothing crazy. The next group comes in, and instead, America's got a, she would look like America's got a problem, Beyonce, but she came in with skate. In costume, she tried to sing, fell badly. She skated off the stage. This stud came in rap, and she said, "Saya did the show wrong." I told y'all, Saya should have started to, to do a love triangle and tried to play peacemaker on the show, and then build her own storyline off of that. I feel like she did it completely wrong. Nally and Shinsia and Spice, y'all just got close to the hell for this uh, audition episode because the enjoyment that they got. Making the girls do fuckery was too much. <laughs> but it was funny to me. I'm sorry. It was funny, but it was wrong. It was wrong. Okay? Especially Dally. Dally is just like, do this. Like, you you get too much enjoyment. You, you get too much. You too giddy. I mean. So, at one group, Shasia is up throwing the tickets uh, after having two girls tussle for a ticket. And then the next group, Natalie does the same thing. And they start getting into it. So she's like, Natalie, why you throw the tickets? She's like, you threw the tickets in the last group. Why can't I throw it for this group? You see what I'm talking about? That tension? It was a little weird to me. She was not feeling her. And it's okay. Not all the baddies have to get along. That's what makes good TV. Okay? Now, at one point, Natalie makes uh, a group of girls. She makes them tw twerk in rows. Okay? So the first row starts twerking, the second row starts twerking. Next thing you know, Shasia says, she starts smelling something. She's like, Natalie, why smell like fresh tilapia? It smells like fresh pum pum tilapia. It smells like shrimp and fish, alkin salt fish. Nally's like, what? What do you smell? She was just like, you just gave tickets to fishy pum pum. I said, what I tell you? <laughs> I screamed, okay? I know that room did smell like Fart and Punani. I know it's not like that. Now, this replacement named Joe, now we see why she got a ticket. Because since the girl was swinging, okay, this is the redhead that had the bangs. That girl was swinging for her life. The one right here named Joe at the bottom next to the Zeus logo. That girl right here. That girl was swinging for her life. So I feel like now the replacements are making a little bit more sense. Now this other replacement, her name was Wendley, and this was the one who had the heart-shaped nipples. I think she deserved it. 
because just because like she's cute, something about her seems like quirky or something. Like if she gets on the show, she's gonna um have like an iconic moment or do something that we all didn't expect. So I don't mind her too much. And she is a baddie. Okay. Now Shinsia loved to pick like the cocky girls, the girls that were sort of had a little bit more attitude than the others. So Natalie, in the meantime, her next group, she does the baddie prayer for the to the baddie gods. Okay. Play with God, Natalie is gonna call. She's like, bow your heads. So I want to pray and thank you for all the baddies to doing their big one. And also look up to your neighbor and slap the hell out of them. They start slapping. This one girl was looking like I ain't slapping nobody. Okay. They start slapping each other, bopping each other outside the head. At that point in the auditions, they were just giving away tickets to just give away tickets. Okay. Now, we meet this eight mile girl. I call her eight mile because she reminds me of a female Eminem. What was so special about her? The other baddies was just like, oh my God, she's so great, hugging on her, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, what made her so special? I was confused because she traveled a long distance. A lot of the baddies did. Like, it's because she rap and she white. I was just, I gagged because they treated her like as if she was like, the best things is like a cheese or something. I'm like, okay, like, all right. Anyways, we meet Honey Boo Boo all grown up. And she had a colorful jumpsuit and she's a waiter, okay? And she was like, oh, you know, I don't make a whole lot of money uh, waitressing or whatever. And they be saying I have an attitude and I'm super aggressive. They remind me of, they say I remind them of a black woman, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Anyways, uh, I think that I should be on there because, you know, I'm a baddie, I'm about my business. So now he's like, slap her for 5K. So y'all just giving away money just to slap a bitch. I should have went in there and put on a good wig. Okay? She slaps that little girl. Next thing you know, they start to get to tussling. And then the, the short girl, now this was the funniest part of it to me. The short girl stands up, right? So now he's like, come here. She makes her stand next to this girl that looks like K Capri's oldest sister. Five feet taller. She's like, you slap her for 5K. The, that short girl looked at Natalie and said, no. No. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm glad the short girl didn't do it, even though I would have did it. Because, girl, you, you don't get 5K falling out the sky nowadays, girl. Like, <laughs> so well. I would have been like, took it. And none of them ain't getting on the show anyway. So you might as well get the money while you at it. Um. Shasia ended up giving her a ticket because she liked the fact that she didn't listen to Natalie. So it's like, I get Shasia for giving her that because a baddie doesn't really take commands. Okay, so I get why Shasia did that. Natalie just ran out of ideas, started having people slap for 5K. They, re they low key, at this point, she should have gave a 5K to try to slap Nini and see how Nini react. They tried to smack this girl named Nini the billionaire, but she's not her. So. After they tried to do that, this is the rapper girl. Nally's just like, man, carry her off. She was smart, though, because she didn't react to the smack or the fight because she wanted her dialogue in the episode. So I get what she was doing, but it didn't hit like she thought it did. The rap didn't hit like she thought it did. So Nally's like, carry her off the stage now. Carry her off the stage. The girl wasn't going. So Nally's just like, what do you want? Like, go, go. Spice is like off to say slap her <laughs> without tell y'all scream. That girl tried to slap Natalie. Natalie started to get the swing and took her wig off. Natalie thinks that she, at this point she's Mike Tyson. And you go F around and find out in the Caribbean when one of these girls put you in the sand. So please don't think that you know, you know, you out here knocking bees like out left and right because it might not go how you think it's gonna go in the Caribbean. I'm just saying. Okay. But you deserve that slap, Natalie. Natalie mentions at one point, she's like, have you guys ever been effed in the butt? She's like, I haven't. I'm like, of course you haven't, because Mr. Jacobs, you know, effed other people in the butt. Anyways, uh, next thing you know, this girl named Jive comes. I think Jive is a T-girl. She's a throwing a, a, a mic, and this girl named Kiva is a being her ass. Now, this Kiva girl is also casted. 
Now it makes this why they they put her as a replacement backup because you know she stood on business in regards to that. I think the mic was intended for Shinsia. I don't think it was for Natalie and or a spice, okay? Because both are like you know LGBTQ friendly. I don't know about Shinsia, but I like Shinsia. I'm sorry, she needs to be a baddie. She needed to be on this season. Maybe a special guest. I'm a special guest, maybe a special guest or some sort, but she should have been on this season, okay? Let me know what y'all think down below about um, this part. Like I said, it was dead ass raw, but that was some of the most times I've laughed watching Zeus in a minute, okay? Especially with that short and that tall girl. Leave your comments down below and wear out, babies. Ain't no personal thing.